So now there is a full agreement about the opening of the railroad connection between Azerbaijan and Armenia, and we actually started to build the demolished railroad on the liberated territories towards Armenian border. At the same time, uh, in previous months, Armenia was objecting the opening of the, of the highway, but now we managed to persuade them that it's inevitable, and they also agreed on that. So there is understanding. Now we discuss about the legal regime of these corridors, the Zengezur corridor, which will go through Azerbaijan to Armenia and further down to Nakhchivan Autonomous Republic of Azerbaijan. The legal regime. And here we have certain uh, issues still open. But uh, I think both countries recognize that this must happen. And by the way, during the trilateral meeting in Sochi uh, last month, uh, held by President Putin, uh, we adopted a declaration which clearly talks about opening of communication. So it will happen. And by the way, also airspace already is in activation. So Azerbaijan airlines flying from Baku to Nakhchivan started to cross Armenian airspace. And uh, Russia and EU are the, one of the main international actors. There's uh, a lot of things for them to do, a very broad agenda. If they spend time and efforts, and not once, but regularly, to convene with uh, leaders of Azerbaijan and Armenia to discuss this issue, that means that the genuine desire is to help, and we appreciate that. And uh, we don't see any kind of rivalry here, though some may think that the kind of a certain competition, not at all. As far as we're concerned, we see that uh, these efforts are complementary. These efforts uh, can uh, support uh, you know, the peace process. And with respect to the drones, we are continuing to purchase them. After the war ended, we signed new contracts to buy new modifications. And at the same time, we are also, as you said, uh, producing uh, the surveillance drones, not fighter and not kamikaze. And these drones are available for the market. Uh, Azerbaijan exports its military products to more than 30 countries. And we have already developed a military industrial complex, which uh, produces our basic needs. And uh, we continue that uh, because, as I said, there is still a threat of Armenian revanchism. Uh, there is still a threat of destabilization. So we must be always ready to defend uh, our borders.